What's up everybody? It's Kelsey Brianna J here with a comparison video. As you guys can tell by the title and the thumbnail, I'm going to be battling two powders from Laura Mercier. As you guys know, the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder is one of my holy grail powders, one of my all-time favorite powders. You guys see me use it so much on my channel. But she's recently launched the Translucent Glow Powder. So I thought it would be fun to put these two powders head to head and see what they look like compared to one another. On one side I have the original Translucent Powder all over the face, and on the other other side I have the translucent glow powder all over the face I think it's pretty obvious which side has what but I'm not going to tell you until I get into the demonstration portion let me give you guys some details on the new translucent glow powder since this is new to the market so the official name is the translucent loose setting powder glow it comes in two different colors it comes in the original translucent color which is the lighter version and then it comes in the medium deep version which is the darker glow powder the original glow powder also comes in these two variations and this powder retails for $38. There is 28 grams of product in this container and of course it has the sifter so I normally take mine out just because I like to get straight to it with my powders. The description of this product says that Laura Mercier has taken their iconic cult favorite translucent loose setting powder and infused it with pearl pigment so you can lock in your look for up to 12 hours with a healthy glowing finish. This lightweight innovative powder allows you to keep a natural glow and extends the wear time of foundation by up to double without adding weight or texture. It creates a healthy looking radiant finish with a touch of sheer coverage that resists settling into fine line and pores. This no flashback formula means you'll look great in photos. It also creates a soft focus effect to subtly blur the look of fine lines and imperfections without looking cakey. Like I said, I have on the original translucent powder on one side and the glow glow powder on the other side. The glow powder does have those fine pigments in them and the pigments are a golden color so I went with the translucent shade. I have the original translucent powder in medium deep and I tried it on my channel for you guys and it's just a little bit too dark for my complexion but it works beautifully for NC50 and deeper. Here's what the packaging looks like for the new Laura Mercier powder. As you guys can see same size, same dimensions, and overall same package with the exception of the top. I also want to show you guys the color. As you all can see, this is the original translucent powder, and this is the translucent glow powder. You can see that translucent glow powder is considerably darker, and it does have that hint of a golden sheen. So I'm going to go ahead and jump into the demonstration. You guys can see what the powders look like side by side, and then I'm going to continue wearing these powders around for the rest of the day and see how they hold up against one another. So stay tuned and enjoy. On the left side, I'm going to use the original translucent powder. I'm going to take my sponge that I already blended out my concealer with and set my under eye with that first. So like I normally do, I just take the sponge and pack on the powder. Ooh, yes. And on the flip side of the sponge, I'm going to do the same method with the translucent glow powder. Let's pack that on. Ooh, that's really glowy. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. Uh -huh. I can immediately see this. Oh, my goodness. This is a highlight. Are y'all seeing this for real? Let me blend this out because this is glowy i know you all can see the difference so on this side we are totally matte we have that translucent soft yellow color and on this side we have the highlight cleopatra's coming back 24 karat gold bruno mars right up underneath my eye area it's very glowy like she did not tell a lie you guys can see the immediate difference with this side versus that side this is the most glowy glow powder that i've tried thus far Oh, it's like an iridescent shimmer. I have my MAC 135 brush and I'm going to take this brush, more of this powder, and I'm going to set, oh my God, I'm getting everywhere. I'm going to buff this onto my entire face. Buffed out, it looks really glowy. I think it looks good set all over the face, but I don't think I like it as concentrated underneath my eye to set my concealer just because I feel like that powder really clung to my concealer and I feel like because the concealer is so emollient, it intensified the shimmers and it made it look like a highlight. I have another 135 brush. I'm going to take this brush and set all over my face with the original translucent powder. Put some of that on that forehead. 
All right, so you can see the clear distinction between the original translucent powder and the translucent glow powder. This side of my face is obviously more golden, more reflective, more glowy, and this side is more matte. This side has a little bit of a cast to it. That's why I don't wear this powder all over my face. I like it underneath my eye because it does brighten just a hair. I feel like the translucent glow is the perfect shade for my complexion, but it doesn't emphasize dryness. I personally don't think that the original translucent emphasizes dryness either. So my face needs some finishing touches. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and then I'll be back and I'll show you guys what my makeup looks like on top of these products. So I'm back and what? I have on a pink lipstick? I feel like that's so retro for me. Back in like 2009, 2010, you could not keep me out of a Barbie pink lipstick. But anyways, back on topic, here's what my makeup looks like all complete. I have on bronzer and blush. I did not put on highlight because baby, that side is already highlighted. This side is a little bit lighter because like I said earlier, the translucent powder does lighten up my foundation. All of translucent powders tend to do that to my complexion. So I don't typically set my makeup with a translucent powder but this side, I feel like my foundation looks more true to color. It's not lightened at all. It's very glowy, very radiant. I feel like my under eye is set. It's locked in there. It's very glowy. A little bit different than what I'm used to, but I'm not mad at it. I will update you on how these powders wear throughout the hours. I'm familiar with the original translucent, so I pretty much already know what that one's going to do. I'm curious to see how this translucent glow powder is going to act. Keep it locked. Ooh, that light is good. So I've had these powders on for like three hours now and I feel like I'm always at the grocery store when I decide to do these challenges, almost every time. But both sides of my face still look relatively matte. Like I don't have really a whole lot of oil breakthrough on either side, so I'm impressed. I like it. So um, I'm gonna give it a few more hours and I'll check back in. So I've now had these powders on for six and a half hours. I'm really starting to see where the oil is breaking through on both sides of my face. It's definitely a lot more apparent on this side, the glowier side. It's looking a little bit more glowy. This side is still more matte, but it does look more radiant than it did when I initially applied the powder. So you guys can see the comparison, the six hour mark. I still think both of them look really good. So. I'm here for both. They're just both giving two different looks and I feel like the differences between the powders are starting to show a lot more. I'll be back in a few more hours to do a final check-in. Okay guys, so it has been nine hours. It is actually extremely late. I think it's somewhere around like two... 30 in the morning, so I'm ready to go to bed. So I'm gonna tell you what I think about the new powder in comparison to the original Laura Mercier translucent powder. So, translucent powder, set my makeup, my makeup still is intact. Glow powder, set my makeup and my makeup is still intact. I like both of these powders. I feel like both of them look really bomb. Depending on the type of look that you wanna go for, that's the powder that I would recommend. I think that both of them are very well formulated. You guys have seen me use translucent powder for years now on my channel and I will definitely be incorporating the new translucent glow powder here on my channel because it looks beautiful. I love the way that it enhanced my complexion and it really works well with my tan. I can see this working well with so many different complexions from light to even medium deep complexions maybe like NC45 before you switch it to the deep powder but it's so beautiful. I feel like the glow is everything. Now obviously this side is a bit more dewy than this side. I feel like this one kept me a little bit more matte. I feel like it's a very radiant look and it's an acquired look. So if you like your makeup to look glowy, I feel like this is a beautiful powder. Laura Mercier can really do no wrong with me when it comes to these translucent powders. So I want to see her come out with another one. Please come out with a medium powder. I feel like deep is great if you have a deeper complexion, but I need one right in the middle of translucent and deep just for me. Please, Laura. Thank you. So I really like the powder. I think that you should check it out. If you guys like the translucent powder and you don't mind a little bit of a glow or you want a little bit of a glow perfect and this is coming in at a really good time because in the fall season you're not going to be as glowy so you're going to need to preserve anything that's going to give you that look of summer as you can let me know what you guys think down in the comments section i look forward to you guys' comments also don't forget to subscribe to my channel you guys uploads are going ham like i have so much content make sure you click that bell so you're notified and I will talk to you all in my very next video, which you already know is going to be super, super soon. 
Smooches. Bye.